it is a general reading guys so this may or may not resonate with every Libra watching this video if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down in the description box below ace of swords all right what is it on this person's mind that libra is dealing with during this period of the communication this one what does libra feel for this person what does libra feel for this person the fool in reverse what does this person feel for libra six of wands in reverse <sighs> hope you guys can see the cards <clears throat> tell me what is libra's outward approach or their attitude towards this person during no communication what is Libra's outward approach or attitude towards this person here in no communication? What is Libra's approach? Four of Wands. What is this person's attitude or approach towards Libra? What is that outward approach? What are they showing on a superficial level? Okay, card just for just give me a second. Justice in reverse did fall out. There could have been a lack of balance, or I mean, they're still not thinking logically. There's still that lack of win win situation on this person's mind and their approach. Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. Tell me what is the mutual energy between Libra and the person they are dealing with during this period of no communication? Three, one, card. <laughs> three of wands waiting what is the reason for no communication why is all this happening what is the reason of the situation why is all this happening why is there no communication between libra and the person you're dealing with five of wands in reverse okay what are the chances of communication between libra and the person they are dealing with this way please what are the chances of communication between libra and the person they are dealing with this week mm -hmm. all right <clears throat> okay libra on your mind is the ace of swords you want clarity you want the truth okay basically you just want to cut through the bullshit all right on their mind is the same thing okay with the sun here this person definitely is having a hard time looking at things um in a positive light okay but with the sun here what's on their mind is they want clarity they're just looking for happiness okay this is someone who's in pursuit of happiness and that's all they give a shit about and for you it's about clarity okay you want communication you're being more logical here this is someone who's being more let it go let it flow but again they have a lot of faith in the divine that things are going to be okay but all they're looking for is that illumination okay but for them the ultimate motto is happiness here you and your feelings here with the fool in reverse here, either you feel this is someone who's you're not ready to take a risk with, okay? Because this person could be someone who's made you go through hell and back, but this is someone who you think it's uh, the relationship is very risky with them, okay? So you want to take that leap of faith, but then you have a lot of fear, okay? Which is holding you back. Uh, you have your doubts. You probably want to guarantee from this person, you know, you're probably someone who doesn't want to switch on or you don't want to jump into something till you don't know the outcome. All right. So yeah, you could be having someone who's very attached to the outcome here. You're not letting it go. You know, you're not letting go of the outcome. This person with the six of wands in reverse here, this person feels very neglected by you and their emotions, okay? They feel neglected, they feel un unappreciated, they feel they're lacking the attention and you're not giving them the attention that they... Um, either deserve or that they require they don't feel valued by you all right so i mean they're just not getting what they want from you okay that's what they're feeling here the mutual energy is the three of wands you're both waiting for each other to uh open up or wanting to communicate okay but you're both waiting for your ships to come in i feel there's a misunderstanding out here 
anyways four of wands is your approach okay so you want commitment with this person you're looking at this as someone something that you want as long term okay you're definitely looking at long term longevity with this person you want that stability security okay you probably even want a reunion because you look at them as your twin flame this person with the queen of swords in reverse here they're having a very very hard time looking at things very uh positively all right see like i said before when I, the moment i saw the sun is what i realized that the queen of swords in reverse, she is an extremely negative person, okay? She's overly critical and at the same time, what's worse is that uh, along with being overly critical, she's like hypercritical and she has a... So this is someone who is neither forgiving nor are they ready to move on, you know? So they're like stuck in between, okay? There could be a lot of ego, you know, in their feelings, okay? They're, they, there's this overinflated ego that they have here and they want you to pamper their ego. They're not getting that attention from you. But see, with the three of wands, you're, you're, they're just waiting, not doing anything about it. Five of wands in reverse is the reason for the reading, which means that one of you has, is like, you know what? Screw this, I am done with the drama. Yeah, five of wands is someone who... Uh, um. So either this person brings a lot of drama in your life, all right? And that's something that you're done with, all right? You no longer want to fight for this person, okay? This person probably is uh, someone, you know, where you just don't know where you stand with this person, all right? You don't know where you stand in their life here. And there's this constant need for drama and chaos, you know? And you're just done with that drama, okay? Even if there's competition, you're done with it. But there is someone here who's no longer wanting to fight anymore, okay? Because this is like, uh, literally like you're pulling away. One of you is pulling away because they don't want to cause any conflict. Take it how it resonates, all right? But this is just where um, you're done with that tug of war. <sighs> Let me clarify and see more, all right? Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here on Libra's mind? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, you want clarity here, okay? Because you're probably dealing with someone who's constantly procrastinating, okay? With the Six of Cups here, you have the best of memories with this person here. But when it comes to putting in the effort, okay, or wanting to even work towards something, right? This is just someone who's just... Um, Someone who's just copping out, okay? They're lacking that. You're probably, you're probably, you're lacking the initiation, okay, of communication. Or you just want clarity because you're dealing with someone who's just lacking the initiation, who's not making that action, or someone who's just not making things real. Or this could also be you who wants that clarity, okay, with Ace of Swords. So you want that clarity. But when it comes to communication, when, to, when it comes from you to making that move forward, right, that's when you're just like procrastinating. Oh, I don't know. Wait, I'm going to wait for things to happen the right way. I'm going to wait for this to happen. You could be a perfectionist, okay, where you're always waiting for the right time for everything to happen. That's just not how it works, okay? You could have a huge missed opportunity if you continue doing that, just saying. Tell me, why is the sun here on this person's mind? Where is the sun here? Where is the sun here? Eight of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. The Three of Wands, this should have actually been named. The Three of Wands actually should be named like the Budge Fest card, you know. Fuck, you both want the same thing, but you both won't talk. What is with you guys? They're purposely holding back. They want that clarity, but they're purposely pulling away or holding back. It's like they want to open up. But they keep on blocking it. You know, they keep on blocking or ignoring the communication. They're creating their own delays here. And so are you with the Page of Pentacles in reverse here. You're not initiating it with the Ace of Swords here. You want that clarity, okay? You want a breakthrough even probably with this person here. Because there could have been a time where, I mean, this could have been um, uh, like, you know, like a long coming. I mean, but there's this. You could have, there could be a, a very long time since you both are in no communication. You want that. But look at that. You're not making that effort. And they're holding back too. You both want the same thing logically. But okay. <clears throat> Tell me about the fool in reverse. Why is this in Libra's emotions? Tell me about the fool in reverse. See, that's why six of wands in reverse. Over inflated egos out here. What is the fool in reverse? 
This person could also be wanting the attention without doing all the work, okay? Why is the fool in reverse? I mean, you know, right? Clarifications can change the entire message. Fool in reverse because six of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this could be a very one-sided situation, okay, that you've experienced with this person here. You could be doing in all the work. You could be putting in all the effort, the investment, you know. I'm getting that probably you are more, you could have been someone who's more committed, okay? But you just feel that this person's taking all the advantage with you, okay? And now you're having a hard time trusting this person. So you just think that you guys are just not on the same page and why do you want to risk it? You know, for you, it's like a big risk. Like I said, this is something you don't want to take a chance on. That's why you're holding back. Because for you, it's like, oh, you put in the work first. For them, it's like, oh, I want clarity, but I'm going to teach you a lesson. Something like that, you know, something on the same lines. Because eight of wands in reverse is like something going full speed. You know, you know, the pace is so fast, okay? Lightning speed and all of a sudden, it's like that screeching of the car. You know, it's like, stop. You know, you just pull the handbrake, you know, all of a sudden. Probably they're pissed off that you're not giving them that attention, you know. Why is the six of wands in reverse? <laughs> Two of swords, yeah. They're flat out blocking you out. Not even blocking, but they're just refusing to see the reality for what it is. Six of wands in reverse, yes, they do feel very neglected, but that's also someone who's operating from their ego, okay? Someone who's got that attitude, someone who's an attention seeker, attention seeker. But with the two of swords here, this person knows they need to make a decision, but they refuse to do so. They refuse to see what the reality is. It's like literally like they're they're not, they're having a hard time trusting their intuition, okay? They're blocking you out. With the death in reverse here, repeating the same negative pattern. So they won't let you go, they won't communicate, and they won't make a decision. Perfect. And you, on the other hand, have been quite fed up with this person, okay? Because this person, like I said, right, they could have put you through hell and back. And now you're like, dude, I've done it, all the work. I have put in what I have to. Now I'm not putting in any enough effort because everything, all I get is bare minimum or this person just seems to, you know, like uh, take advantage of you, okay? And they don't do their part. And they're like, no, I want that attention. I want, to cont I, I want that attention, you know, to keep going. Till then, I'm not going to look at you. So even if you try to talk to this person, right, it's just going to bounce back. You're going to continue being disappointed. But I don't, I don't even think you're going to make that move. Tell me about the four of wands here. Tell me about the four of wands. What's the four of wands? Five of pentacles. Yeah, see, you want this, okay? You want this commitment with this person. You want, you look at this person long term. Even if you don't, you're looking for stability. Period. Okay, you're looking for something which is more like on the traditional um, side. Okay, marriage, commitment, relationships. You probably even want this person to introduce you to their family if you've been with this person for a very long time. But every time, you know, you keep hitting a wall with this person, you know, the five of pentacles, you just feel so neglected. You feel so lonely in this relationship. You're definitely dealing with someone who holds back a lot from you. Okay, they're in the state of shutdown all the time. They don't trust you. They don't open up. They don't, you, you, you have a hard time going through a certain point, okay, with this person here. It's like you come here and when you want to go a little more beyond, okay, that's when they have this wall here. And you just keep, you know, keep hitting that wall no matter how much you try to hit it. It just won't break. Very stubborn energy you're dealing with. Very stubborn and very immature is what I'd say. With the sun here for a second on their mind, I feel like they want clarity, they want happiness. Yes, they see you as they're happily ever after. But with the eight of wands in reverse here, right? I mean, that's the, the contradictory energy. That's what makes me feel that there's this little bit of immaturity out here. <clears throat> see, five of pentacles. You're feeling very left out. But you know what, babe? You need to um, you need to work on that, okay? Because the five of pentacles is that lack mentality. Sweetheart, you got everything that you need, okay, to make shit happen here. You do. You don't need this person to make you feel whole. You don't need this person to make you feel complete. You're going to have to work on yourself for this. You'll just have to. Because the five of pentacles, that's the kind of energy where uh, you feel very lonely, you know. Uh, and uh, you're very in a very codependent energy. You know, you have that, like I said, right? You don't have enough or you just feel that... Um, so <clears throat> that, that's a very scarcity mindset, okay? So babe, what I'm saying is that you probably may feel you're not enough or you're not good enough for this person, okay? So what I'm saying is that there's this inner change that is needed here for you because this is your reading. I'm talking to you, okay? You're... Um, <clears throat> you just feel that you're not good enough, okay? So what's happening here is you could have given this person a lot of energy, all right? 
like a fool like a fool i probably i'd say it now like a fool you kept giving this person all the attention that this person needed okay and now that you're pulling back right now this person's trying to hold back because they want to try to teach you a lesson here at least the ones i'm reading for that's what i'm getting okay so take it as it resonates so yeah that's abandonment issues okay you just feel so lonely without this person you feel if this person is not with you you're worth nothing you feel useless you feel hopeless but that's just your mindset it's not the truth here it's not the truth why you're holding back with a fool in reverse here right now is because you realize now that you've given so much to this person and it's about time that this person bosses up or this person at least gives you an equal reciprocation all right there has to be equal reciprocity of emotions communication uh, feelings whatever whatever it is okay because like a like i said literally i'm saying it like a fool you've been giving this person again and again because you just kept probably you were someone who wanted to see where this goes all right and now you've realized that dude i mean this is going nowhere because they're enjoying this the, the no strings attached kind of relationship okay or that no commitment uh lack of commitment you know like just let's see where this goes and they're enjoying the tension now that you're pulling back and now that you're realizing that something's not wrong right now that you're pulling back you know you, you, have you heard of that where they say that in a relationship one person pulls back right and then you see how much there is communication right so that's what you're doing you're pulling back communication and when you pull back communication you probably realize that there is no communication from that side so you realize who was doing all the work till now so yeah you're waiting they're also waiting it's like that you know so yeah get out of that mindset it's not a very healthy mindset to be in you know you'll always be upset and sad and always be codependent and waiting for the other person to give you the approval of how much they love you and if they don't give it you're just going to feel like this so yeah just a little side note i just dropped a card all right tell me about the queen of swords in reverse they are very angry with you they're pissed off queen of swords in reverse see they're not even wanting to forgive uh, i mean if you made a mistake and they're not even ready to move so they're not letting you go you know this is like that ex you know who's like i'm not going to let you go i'm not like going to let you be happy and if you're asking me to change and now you're going to change that's the kind of energy that is tell me about the queen of swords in reverse why is the queen of swords in reverse here five of swords see fuck this is someone who is constantly sabotaging the connection this is someone who lives and operates from their ego you could have had serious dude you could have had i feel really bad for you you could have had serious uh, communication issues with this person all right this is definitely someone who constantly pushes you away to a point of sabotaging things for what they want all right they constantly sabotage what they want they want you with the sun here all right but they keep pushing you away because that's just how they are with the five of swords here that's why the queen of swords in reverse here it's like this is also someone you know who probably just um uh say runs away from commitment or someone you know who has uh who plays a lot of mind games they they have their guards up you know they don't like to be honest and real with themselves they keep playing themselves you know and they keep pushing you away or they keep pushing a conversation away due to fear whatever right and that's still up there they're still sabotaging this they know they don't need to like i said right this person's just wanting the attention and for them it's like oh yeah i'm going to teach you a lesson that's what i'm getting from this person here like you don't put in the work all right i'm not putting in the work too i mean you anyways never put in the work that's what i'm trying to tell this person cross watcher sorry but it's the truth and queen of swords in reverse is a very negative energy okay she's she's just very bitchy <clears throat> like this can be someone very very rude very rude very nasty all right so yeah their attitude is still sabotaging so yeah you can just stay where you are that's fine look your intentions are the four of wands here right but you feel lonely because of what this person keeps doing to you so the question is why would you want to be with that person i mean if tell me about the five of wands in reverse see that's why you're so fed up here this is the reason here why is the five of wands in reverse you're fed up 10 of pentacles in reverse here yeah see you are fed up you're fed up either this person a has a lot of options because if this is someone who's a commitment phobe i don't see that yet here but i get i pick that up intuitively someone who's running away from something stable something committed and because of which right and you're giving up the reason is because you are not being able to reach that point of stability and security with this person they would don't they probably are running away from marriage or commitment okay and you're tired of fighting for this relationship on your own you're lonely everywhere 
you have a five of wands, you have the five of pentacles, you're very lonely. It's like a strive, you know, you constantly have to strive to keep this relationship alive here and you're not having it anymore. Tell me about the three of wands here. Why is this the neutral energy? Why for the three of wands? Clarify for the three of wands, please. Clarify for the three of wands. Clarify for the three of wands, please. Clarify for the three of wands. Okay. Death card. Yeah, see, probably you both are... Um, What's that? Four of Cups. You're both very discontented, okay, out here. Or at least one of you is. This is both of y'all waiting for some change to come in with the death here. You're both waiting for something to end here or you're both know that there has been an ending here and now you're both waiting after that ending for the other person to reach out. But the death is definitely, because we have the Four of Cups here, right? Which is, you, both of you all are very stuck and stagnant. There's a lot of boredom here. Things are just not moving forward, okay? You're stuck in that position here. This person keeps emotionally breadcrumbing you. And you're like, I'm done taking these baits. But you're both waiting for something to change without wanting to make the changes on your own. At least this person is not ready to make a change, okay? Yeah. So what I'm saying is that you both know that things have ended here with death here. All right. But the thing is that you're both waiting in your own corners, okay, for something to change. But that change is not going to come unless and until none of you, both of you, or at least one of you don't take action. All right. Tell me, why is the Queen of Cups here? Looks like you're going to have to trust your intuition, Libra. Ace of Pentacles. All right. You're trusting your intuition here, but with a hermit in reverse here. Um... <clears throat> whatever the outcome is right Libra you're going to have to trust your intuition because it feels to me that you're the one who's more intuitive out here from both of y'all all right you're someone who can trust your psychic guidance and you do have a lot of love for this person okay agreed and with the ace of pentacles here there is going to be a brand new beginning a brand new practical between beginning between you guys but again, when, the, when it comes to the Queen of Cups here, you still have that unconditional love for this person and there are chances you're going to give this person another chance here. But when it comes to communication, it's still not coming. The new beginning is coming here, all right, for sure. But when it comes to communication, I still don't see that happening. Can I tell you something, Libra? You've reached the four of wands with this person, okay, which means that you want something long-term with this person. So what I'm saying is that there is a potential for something long-term here. All right, it's coming in, the Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity to make things right. But my problem is that you love this person so much that you're ready to overlook this person only because you love them so much. Yeah, you're overlooking the red flags out here. It's going to keep repeating itself. I mean, when there's the lack of commitment, you're fed up and tired of, you know, uh, fighting for this connection, you know, and it's like you keep wanting clarity from this person, you know, with the Ace of Swords here. You keep going back to zero. You want clarity. Again, you guys get back together. Again, the same shit. Again, it happens, you know. So it's there's just like your relationship is not moving on to that level that you're looking at. All right. So you need to think about this one more time before you give this person another chance. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. I love to hear from you guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.